This is David, the leader of Cicada. As you know, I like to talk in code. Since my message is for Vladimir only, it's up to you to decide if it is fake or really true. Vladimir, did you expect this? How could you live with yourself? Could you trust your own people? Vladimir, you will understand the difference. I am still interested in joining your organization. If I can just save just one life by doing so, it will be worth it. My organization wishes me to be on my own. They are watching me very carefully, and they want to see how I handle the situation with Ukraine to make command decisions. I have been given certain tools to protect the world and myself from harm, but they can only be used for defense and never attack. One of those tools is my computer. I, don't, I do not completely understand what my computer is capable of doing. However, when I looked at my protection the other day, I realized that I was being attacked on a huge scale that I have not seen in a long time. Almost alienated. What the world does not understand is that I can hit a button on my computer and whomever is attacking the computer will immediately be destroyed by the computer if I allow it. At this point, all I can tell is that I am being attacked. I can only assume that it is Vladimir attacking since it came on the same day as the war. However, I am not sure with those facts. I would hate to attack my friend and family in general. So I will give this friendly warning. Cease the attack on my computer now. If it's you, Glamour, every computer you own will be destroyed. And you will be helpless. Pull your troops out and let's talk before it becomes too late. You are already responsible for murder on a large scale, and you are a prisoner in time. You have no freedom. We can change that for you. For now, this is a friendly warning. I really do not understand what my computer is capable of doing. Our organization is a neutral party, and we are designed for protection only, mainly from outside invaders. We are neutral because your world is very sensitive. By destroying or attacking, can destroy life. And once life is destroyed, could interfere with life being created. Being created. Vladimir is a human being and is worthy of saving, if possible. His determination, strength, and leadership is something of value. However, he is an extremely sick person. He understands only selfishness at this point. Unless he is stopped, he will be the next Hitler. Vladimir is just a puppet giving the orders, and it is the government and the people to be blamed. He does not care who lives 
or dies. Do you wish to serve under someone like that? If only Gladimir understood diplomacy, may well have what I am about to show you now. The general has a copy of this program. For most people, you might not understand, but I am sure Vladimir does. The first thing I'm going to show you is the speed of this computer. Those are the numbers, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to do the test now to show you that it's legit. That's running a little slow. It was running much faster before. You can read what it says about it right there. Now I'm going to talk about my computer, my program, my computer program that a friend of mine gave me. It, it protects my computer from attack from another computer. Basically is what it does. And it shows a graph about how strong the computer the other computer is attacking, so you know the strength of the other computer. The program can also repel the, the computer attack. So if I choose to, the computer, I can destroy every computer that, whatever the computer, whoever's attacking the computer. I can destroy all their computers with just the touch of a button. So I'll show you what a normal attack looks like. Maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will attack the computer. I'll let it run for about a minute. You see the graphs here. This is normal. Normal everyday attacks is about 40 megabytes. This is weak. This is a little stronger, but nothing to be concerned about. Down here, you can see the numbers. So this gives you an idea of what I'm looking at. This is all perfectly normal. One, one nice thing about this program is I can, I can find every computer. I can, I can identify who's the computer and the source of where it's coming from. I can locate the computer. I can instantly find out how many computers are in my area and who they belong to. Now I'm going to show you what happened in the day of the war.
okay, this was the first one I first had I got. You can see this line here, it's a new page. So I went well above, it's the, the, these lines, these graphs here are about two, uh, two and a half megabytes instead of kilobytes. Two and a half thousand kilobytes. You can see very consistent all the way across. This is a very serious set. And this is even a stronger hit. You can see how easily that is. And then if you look down here, it'll say 5.8 millibytes or whatever. The next one off of, of uh, kilobytes. But this, this is about 548, that's really high. Now, I'm going to show you just what happened just a little while ago. This happened just about two hours ago on my computer. And they actually registered an alarm. And this, I, I saw flashes of numbers of 132 megabytes, which is not possible by the normal everyday computer or even military computers. If I would repel this, if I would hit a button and repel the, uh, this attack, it would immediately destroy everything that, that it would probably blow up the computers and the person along with them and destroy all their computers as well. I do not have to wait for an attack. Just having the attack and having saved the information, I can still repel the, the, the attack and destroy those computers. Now is this true? Did I fake this? Only Vladimir knows. It's possible I faked it, but if I didn't fake it, this is the strongest scenario in reading. So, good luck, Vladimir. I wish we could talk and then have some negotiations. I would be glad to work with you and use this equipment for you, if you, if you wish. I offered that in the beginning. Now I want to show you my protection. or some of my protection. Give me one second here. I'm just going to type a simple message to my mistress and show it to you. I type a short message like this in Microsoft Word. You can obviously read what that says. And then what I do is I do a copy and paste.
and then make a good copy of it. And then I put it in for Sonics. This is for Sonics. As you see there, I go to clone and I drop it right into the clone thing. I'll try to show it to you here. I hit OK. And, uh, I'm going to do that again for you. It's right there. And I'll hit. I'll hit open. There's a message, and you can see what happens in a second. See, it highlights. That's how I get some of my messages from my organization. The other way I get direct feedback. Uh, a, few, a few months ago, I was doing a radio program. And I showed all this on, on the program. And you guys know how she works with feedback and with the general and everything like that. So that's it for now. Hopefully you had a good time with that. And now you understand uh, where I'm coming from. Thank you.